When exploring the potential of native assets on Cardano, you'll need to understand the underlying accounting model, the extended unspent transaction output or extended UTXO model. Cardano extends Bitcoin's UTXO model. So if you have a good understanding of Bitcoin's approach, I'd still recommend spending a small amount of energy understanding Cardano's extension. While the extended UTXO is derived from Bitcoin, Cardano is a proof of stake system. So far less energy in computers to mint, transfer and burn tokens in a decentralized manner. Cheap, clean, eco-friendly NFTs. So we're skipping ahead of ourselves here. We need to start from first principles so that when we get around to minting assets like NFTs, you need to know what you're doing. You don't start building a house from the attic down, you start from the foundation. So what is a UTXO? Well, every transaction in Cardano groups inputs and links them to unspent outputs. When the unspent outputs in one transaction are linked to inputs of another transaction, they become spent. Outputs map to inputs that map to outputs that map to inputs and so on. So as long as the transactions are being accepted at the Cardano blockchain, the process never stops. So what are UTXOs? Well, all the unspent transaction outputs, add them all up and you get the balance for your wallet or address. Imagine you have $30 in your wallet. The balance could be a sum of different back notes and coin combinations. Say you have one $20 note and two $5 notes, for example. The balance could be 15 $2 coins. Regardless of the permutations, a total of $30 is equal. The unspent transaction outputs are your notes and coins in your wallet. Whatever balance you have in your wallet will be made up by summing the units in all the wallet's unspent outputs from previous transactions. Much like cash transactions in any store, when you spend with UTXOs, you get back change. So when you take out, say, a $50 note from your wallet, you cannot tear that banknote in half to pay for something that costs $25. You have to hand over the entire $50 note, then wait for your change to be handed back. UTXOs work in the same way. You cannot split an unspent output into smaller bits. Unspent transaction outputs are used up as a whole. The spend transaction must send you back change. You guessed it, it's an unspent transaction output sent to an address in your wallet. The extended features Cardano adds to the Bitcoin model include metadata, token bundles, and forging policies. Every transaction can include a reasonable amount of structured data, and we'll dig into that later. Forging policies enable us to mint or burn an arbitrary bundle of tokens. Every asset in Cardano must be forged using a policy script, excluding ADA, which can't be minted or burnt. In every asset that can be identified by its asset identifier, basically a hash of the policy script used to mint it. Token bundles are what enable Cardano to support the accounting of assets natively. No ERC20 or ER721 smart contract needed. The same accounting rules that apply to ADA applies to custom assets. Token bundles are just that, a collection of tokens from different asset types, all bound together in a single transaction output. The same balanced accounting rule applies across the bundle. All inputs must equal all output balances, minus a transaction fee. A global, multi-dimensional, multi-capital accounting home run with one swing of the bat. One caveat, all transaction outputs must include a minimum amount of ADA, typically around one ADA. This creates an economic incentive to control the number of unspent outputs to a minimum. That means if you want to distribute your custom tokens, you're going to have to distribute a small amount of ADA as well. The extended UTXO model of Cardano is pretty elegant and therefore likely to be significantly more expressive than the balance account model adopted by Ethereum. That is likely to show up in better security properties, overall robustness, and in the composition of smart contracts, but those are developer-focused topics for another day. Next up, we're going to set up a Cardano Relay node.